back again. Let's, you know, without any further ado, let's just get into it. I don't want to waste your time. You don't want to waste your time. Let's do it. First off, the medi bottle of today will be Caron's Pur and Pur and Um de Caron. Let's do it, man. Open the bottle. I kind of know how to do a splash now, just a little in the hand. And spread it all over. I kind of hate rubbing the, the juice. But I don't know if it's that much juice. I guess it doesn't hurt to do it. Okay. Now, pour on the caron. Let's, uh, let's do this, man. Yeah, this is definitely just what people say. Lavender and vanilla. Very soft, very nice. Actually, in a way, you could say this is like an effeminate man in the old school days. Where, you know, life was in black and white. They haven't invented Technicolor yet. But yeah, this is just like this is a this is a poet. This is a guy who wears a turtleneck. He has one of those, you know, cigar cigarette holders that's really long and it's here and he's like And you know, he holds it in a really cool way. Maybe he has a beret or something. That's It's really nice. I would be the guy to wear this, you know? If I see, like, um, you know, if someone were to give me a bottle, that would be cool. Uh, someone tell me if the modern version of this is, like, okay. I've seen there's, like, flankers of this. Which, you know, flankers of this is kind of kind of weird. Like, why are you releasing flankers from our friggers from the 1930s? Like, what's this? Like, like, like... 90 years later? What are you doing with yourself, Cal? But yeah, really cool, really nice. This is like uh A guy who speaks like this, but he also has a soft side to him, eh? He's got the... Uh, you know? He won't wallop you, he will hug you. Maybe one of the only guys in the... in the, you know, early half of the 20th century who, you know, uh, didn't come home to his wife to wrestle, if you know what I'm, what I, what I, what I'm saying. Yeah, this is really nice. Really, really. This, if you know Jerome, I'd say this is Jerome before Jerome. Not in the DNA, just in what it's trying, what, what. The the feeling, the character that I get from this, very, very interesting. I very no, well, not interesting, but very pleasant. I really enjoy it. Let's move on to the decans. By the way, I got three samples from my good friend Eugene. You know the channel. You must go to the brand Les Abstrait. I got three samples, so now it looks like I have I'm doubled up on the Bellum and the La Douleur Exquis samples, which you know, thank you very much for that, Eugene and the Nuge. So enough, you know, waffling around. The first decan will be Shamad. The second decan will be Parur. The third decan will be Nah, this is a skincare product. The third decan will be... Aubusson. Let's get right into the sprays. Let's go with... In order of pulling it out. Let's go with Shamad first. Shamad. Okay. Doing the... What kind of dance move was this? Did, did somebody really do this when they dance? What does this even mean, bro? Like, huh? 
Is this a swag dance? What the fuck is this, huh? Anyway, getting to this. Stuffy grandma florals. This is very, very... This does have the vibe of an aunt that comes and, you know, she just really wants to pinch your cheeks. And you don't know what life she has other than the aunt you see in family reunions or when a relative is sick and you you kind of, your parents, you know, drive you over there because there's kind of a social obligation in your family. That's the vibe. It's the aunt you don't know really anything about. Other than, I don't know, she... Maybe she give, gives really nice hugs. But yeah, that's the kind of vibe I get from Shamad. I would not wear this, personally. Because again, it's not the kind of femin femin femininity that I like. Also, I don't know what, you know, I w don't know. If the personality of a of a of a you know girl around my age who's wearing this would be my thing. But I can appreciate you know that it's a it's a it's of its time is what I will say. It is of its time. I do get a little, you know kind of foundational powder kind of thing from it as well. Not interesting, but very pleasant. Next up, Aubusson. Spraying Aubusson. <laughs> bro, bro, tap me up, bro. Okay, I can't do this. YouTube. I don't even make money off this. Why would? I, why do I care? Okay, Aubusson has been sprayed. Let's do the huh? What is Aubusson? What the fuck is this, bro? I said, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I said, uh-huh. What the hell? I mean, it's sweet and floral, but I also kind of get... Uh, modern shower gel vibe? What? what the hell? This could actually be a fitness girl type of uh, of perfume because sure it smells feminine but also it smells boyish <laughs> those who know me know what I think of those girls. I mean, it's not bad. It's not. It's. I don't think bad of them. Quite the, on the contrary. But yeah, this is a girl who uses shower gels. Very amusing image to see. Uh, yeah. This mostly just reminds me that I need to hit the gym. But yeah, you know, this is a girl with a toned body, I, I'm guessing. You know? Uh, this is the kind of girl who you, when you see her, it's, it's in the gym and she's, you know, wearing the whole, you know, tights and sports bra thing. And like, you want to, you try to be respectful around her and you know, your utmost to be respectful because you are an upstanding member of society. Like me. But you know, she's attractive. What can I say? She's got the looks. She... she. I don't think she knows she, she's got the looks. Because she's using a shower gel. So she's not really trying to attract anyone. Really? <laughs> Quite... And it's a quite comedic perfume, I have to say. With these... Oh, 
now I get it. This isn't even feminine. This is just straight up for men. I don't know if it's geared on even. I've been just rambling about this without even checking online. This is hilarious. But I do think this suits a tomboyish girl more than than, mm -hmm, than uh than a, than like a man. I would say this has a like slight sweetness to it that you know might be like a natural kind of girl smell. Sorry if that's kind of a weird comparison to make. But yeah, Obuson On. Kind of interesting with the dichotomy of a slightly feminine thing with the shower gel kind of thing to it. You know? <laughs> Kudos, Obuson, I guess. <laughs> anyway. Parure, Guirlon, Parure. Let's see. Let's see. Well, I'm sweating. I'm sweating mortars out here. Let's go. Gotta say, Anuj, these sprayers are wow. Insane sprayers, by the way. Huge sprayers on these. You know, pump it up, raise the roof. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay. Enough. Enough waddling, stalling around. Moss. Earth. I'm getting a Bordeaux sheep. Like a maroon, maroon colored smell. This is a, I'd say this is a, this is a woman who wears a blazer, you know, she's got that, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say g girl boss thing about her, but like she has a business, business woman aura about her, you know, she gets stuff done, maybe she's an accountant, maybe she's a, bo maybe she is a girl boss, like, like, in comparison to the office lady of uh, Jardin de Bagatelle, Parure is at least upper managerial level, if not the CEO, if we're talking about office things. I don't know, maybe she's a lawyer. She, she, might, she might be, you know, a lawyer. Legally blonde or something. I don't know. What the hell am I saying, bro? But yeah, it really does have an uptight aura about it. Not necessarily in a in a bad bitchy way. Yeah, it's really um. I still can't believe I goofed up. Like I I, it says om for me, which you know means man in French. You know. The language which I try to be all pretentious about and try and do the accent, but it's not working, is it now? Yeah, it's uh, it's for men. Why did I goof up like that, bro? It says it right there for men. Uh. But yeah, really enjoy this 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 sheep. I think this. Kind of has a sheep vibe. So, you know, maybe. So, yeah, in short. Puronon de Caron is the... Is the early to mid 20th century Diarom, in my opinion. Which, you know, means that I'm sorry to say this, the metrosexual uh, uh, scent. Shamad. 
What did I say about Shamad again? I don't know what I said about Shamad. Please just rewind. I don't know. I for Why did I forget? Why did I forget? Huh? I'll come back to this if I if it pops up. Abu Son Om is like you really see that it, it does have a sweetness beyond. That is really really interesting maybe it's kind of fruity sweetness sweetness which yeah does kind of make me think tomboyish girl more than um and yeah peru girl boss get gaslight gatekeep girl boss that's just the scent of a girl boss peru by guerlon which is this one yeah Oh yeah, I did say Shamad is the aunt that that you know comes to pinch your cheeks, call you cute, and you know don't know literally nothing else about her. Yeah, these are sorry, the camera's right here. Jesus, Jesus. I'm not even I'm not even I'm Jewish and I keep saying Jesus, my god. Okay. Yep. And Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's let's all line them up for not a thumbnail. But yeah, these are the gang. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow hopefully.